Good morning and welcome back to Acorn Homestead. Um, it's been a while since I've actually put out a video, I think, uh, after the trees came down. I still haven't cleaned all that up. I'm thinking that maybe they would be good for one of those fences uh, where you just kind of intertwine all the twigs and the little birds live in them and what other little creatures will be living in them. So I was thinking that might be a good idea so I can cut them longer than I was cutting them. I was cutting them short so that I could put them in the fire. But I can cut them longer and then I can intertwine them. So that might be an option to get rid of them quicker, if that makes any sense. Uh, the other thing is, this morning I decided to go outside and play. And um, I've made a raised bed out of the skins that I got from the local, from the local uh, sawmill. And, well here, I'll just show you. Okay, so it's probably about 12-ish feet long and maybe one or two feet wide, but there's only one plant that's going in here and I'm going to get a mesh like beans or something like that. Um, the This half here, I didn't pull the grass out. I wanted to see what happens. I'm sorry about the wind. I know that it's crazy, which is one of the reasons why I'm rethinking where to put my polytunnel. Okay, so... This side here, I just put a wheelbarrow of mulch over the grass. But this side here, I've actually pulled out some of the grass with the dog's help because she likes to pull the grass. It's just piled right over here. And I'm going to see uh, if there's a difference in the size of the plants. Um, the only reason I put the mulch down is just to fill the bed and I'm going to put dirt over top and then I'll mix it and then I'm going to cover it with plastic or something so that uh, it has a chance to rot down between now and the beginning of the year or the beginning of planting season not the beginning of the year because we're there already so it's actually okay I don't mind it I think it'll do I think it'll do okay so I'm just going to put this other one in here and spread it out. I have come to the conclusion that I think I've put these in the wrong spot because if I'm not mistaken it's probably better to have them all in a little mound as opposed to in the wee gully so we'll see how that goes as well how wet it is and that kind of thing so and I might need more than the one in here If you notice that there's a bit of a difference in color in the two sides, this side here I took from underneath, whereas that side over there I got, I took from the top. So maybe that's, I don't know, we'll see. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it there. If you remember, there was three posts here. I pulled the middle one out and that's just to like, 
a chunk of ivy that I cut off the tree and it's not really for anything other than I think it looks cool but um, it's not really for stability although it is in the ground that I took out the other post this post or not that post it's over there but uh, it is in the hole that the post came out of the, the post left and I did nail it there and I am screwed it at the top um, it's I think it's just decoration really I hope it doesn't grow if it does it's coming out I'll cut it up and use it for firewood but that's other than that um, this is all I've got so far I'm Wally leave him alone I'm um, not sure if I'll do more beds. I kind of like the small raised beds because I can just reach. I can actually straddle them and go over it. Obviously, you can't do that when the plants are tall and stuff. But uh, it's easier on my knees and surprisingly, it's easier on my back as well. So, But I'm going to put chicken wire or netting because I have a schwack of netting. So, or something along here, and then that'll, that'll uh, be stability for like green beans or cucumber or whatever I end up planting in here. I'm not so sure that the, I'm not so sure that the mulch will be of any use other than to fill it up. But, sure, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Uh, speaking of just winging it, um, remember all the willow that I planted? Well, some of them have been chewed up and bitten off or broken off. I don't honestly know. Like that's, we'll just shove them all in the ground again. So there's quite a few actually. I was out here earlier, like a few days ago and noticed that there's quite a number of them that have been broken like that so only in the in the second part the second 30 that I planted there's quite a number of those broken but the first 50 or 47 that I planted they aren't as broken now there is my dog but she's not really doing anything at the minute so I'm hoping it's not her and it's somebody else well not hoping but I'd like to think it wasn't the dog, but we'll see. Um, they should start budding if they are going to bud. They should start budding in the next month or so. I can't imagine that they're starting yet. Well, they kind of, they kind of are. They're starting to come up. But this is the other problem. I don't know where to put anything because the wind is ridiculous. And I don't, I don't really agree with digging trees very much. See, they are kind of getting a little bit. Not as fresh. So we'll see. But there, some of them are blowing over because the wind comes from over there and it's quite substantial. So, but sure, we'll just let it go. See what happens. Because, you know, that's what I do. I wing it. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. And uh, we'll speak to you again. Bye.